As a foster parent coach or consultant, I talk to a lot of foster parents across the nation and I continue to get the same type of story many, many months in a row. This time, there was a set of foster parents with a, nine, with a nine-year-old girl. The girl had been with them for five months. The foster parents were concerned that the girl wanted to go home, that she wanted to be with their mother, her mother and her father. The foster parents told me that they provide her a very, very safe home, lots of stability and security. They give her many fantastic opportunities. She's in gymnastics, she's in ballet. Uh, they give her the first healthy meal she's maybe ever had in her entire life, and they love her like their own child. But the problem was the foster parents felt that the girl wanted to go home. She wanted to be with her mom and dad. That is normal. It is normal. Because it doesn't matter how much stability you provide for a child, or security, or opportunities, or even love. That money times for a foster child is not their norm. They are used to a life of abuse or neglect or abandonment. That is their norm. However horrific mom and dad may have been to them, it's still their mommy and their daddy. And that's who they want to be with. Now, I've been a foster parent for over a decade now, and I've had dozens of children come through my home, and I think that my wife and I do a pretty good job of giving children some fantastic chances and opportunities in our home. And like you, my wife and I love these children like they are our own. We fight for them as if they are our own, and we treat them just like they are our own children, because they are in our sense, in our hearts. But for these children, I am not their daddy. And my wife, however loving she is, and she's the most loving person I have ever met, she is not their mommy. And as a foster parent, you are not their mom and dad either. They may love you. They may enjoy being in your home. But it is not their home. It's not their family. And most importantly, you are not their mommy and daddy. And that sounds terrible. And that may hurt but in the child's eyes, that's the case. So take a deep breath. And when the child comes home from his next visitation and he is crying because he wants to go back and live with mommy, understand this is part of the process. And you can love them with all your heart and they may respond with that love, but they still want to go home because it's their home and their family. And that's their norm. For Dr. John DeGarmo, I'm sorry, for Foster Parenting 101, hey, thank you for providing a home. I am Dr. John DeGarmo.